Hey, I've asked you to leave. Now leave. This is uh, Archeric's taking pictures. I asked him to leave. And I get what you, you can see. Back. I get what you can you see from the back. road. You get your hands back. off of me. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to San Joaquin Valley Transparency. Today we have a really good video for you guys. This video comes to you by way of... I'm not going to say it. <laughs> His he's got a funny channel name, but I just, I'm not going to let you guys uh, screen record this and use it later against me. So we're not going to say that channel name. What is this video about? Do not, absolutely do not go outside and talk to police. If cops are on your property, if they're knocking on your door, if they don't have a warrant in their hand, absolutely do not talk to them. And keep in mind, folks, that cops are not your friends. They're not there to say, hey, Billy Bob, or hey, Jacob, or hey, uh, Ronald. How the hell are you? I've been wanting to talk to you for a long time just to see how you are. Hell no. If you talk to the cops, they're going to use what you say against you. That's how they work. They're not your friends, folks. They got a job to do, and that job is to take as many people to jail as possible, use as much information against that person. So absolutely do not go outside to talk to cops. Check out this video. Go subscribe to the original channel. We're going to be dropping his link in the description and in the pinned comment. Let's get right to it. I'll give you my final thoughts at the end of the video. All right. So what, is what is your badge number? So badge name, number name, name the badge number. Paul Hartrick, Conservation Warden. Okay. Badge number? 56. Okay. I explained what I explained to you. Yes. If you don't like the answers, go get a search warrant. And come back. Okay. Hey, we'll test it in court. If you You're want to, rude? go ahead. I do not consent to any seizures or search searches of my property. Oh, so now we're going to try getting me for obstruction because I'm not giving you my name. Correct. I, I, I don't have to. I don't have to. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I have not committed a crime. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a crime. Yes, if it you're does. In violation leave. Of something you need. Leave. You provide your name. Leave. Hartrick, leave. <laughs> you know what I am? I am an auditor, a first amendment auditor. I suggest you leave and come back with some paperwork from a judge. You know, I'm being very cooperative with you, I, and you're not being cooperative at all. You know what I am? You're making this hard. I'm not to going to allow you to violate my constitutional rights. I'm not violating your constitution. All right, folks, let me pause really quick to say this. Absolutely do not go anywhere. This video is about to go from zero to 100 real quick. Keep watching. You are, by demanding my name, you're demanding not, you're not that you're going to search I'm not my property. Anything. I can see there's a gravity field in the backyard. You're being very uncooperative and going without the force. Uh, uh, uncooperative. There's a burn pile. You just told me you burned drywall. In metal and I asked you to show me where I can't burn them and items I tried to explain that and you don't explain to don't explain just I'm show me there, don't have to cop explain you don't have to cop explain just go you know get what? go get your little law book that says what cannot be burned it's unfortunate that if you drywall don't know the rules, if no it, I'm it, no I, I'm trying to educate you so if you're gonna sit and accuse me right of a now, crime for a crime that up. you don't even know what was committed I know who you are I have everything I need I, to know I'll be following up with you and it's unfortunate that you don't want to be polite and cooperative in the situation and at least listen and talk and that's you don't you. need to cosplay so I asked you what you were here for I heard you I asked you to leave you take care so, Don't cough, explain. Have a better day. I brought you some milk. Hey, I've asked you to leave. Now leave. This is I. Archeric's taking pictures. I asked him to leave. And I oh, get what you, you can see. Back. I get what you, you can see from the back. road. You get your hands back. off of me. I get what you can see from the road. You can you know, photograph. But unfortunately, this is my property. I've asked you how many times to get off my pat Brady. I'm investigating. Leave. Something. Go you get a warrant. This is Archie, you. you gotta go. You need to step back. You need to go. You need to step back. I've asked you to leave. Get your hands off of me. I've asked you to leave several times. Go ahead and try me. Why don't you go down here and talk to Mr. Todd Scarbin? Don't fall up like don't It's my property. I can I can walk where I want. Constitutional right. 
I can walk where I want on my own property, and I can walk where I want on public property, including the road. Got an emergency? No, no flashers going on, no indication you're parked on the side of the road, no cones out. Isn't this a... You need to back up. I'm going to get my vehicle. Get your hands off of me. Back up. I'm getting my vehicle. That's, That's your last word. No. Get your hand. Brenda, record this. C192 O'Connell. It's in back of my location. Get your hands off of me. I'm telling you, you're going to violate my rights. And guess what? Step back. I need to what? You are not getting back when I tell you to. I don't need to. It's my goddamn Brenda. Get off of me. Get off of me. You're going to get it. Brenda. I'm telling you, Archer, get off of me. What are you going to do? Swing? Send back up to my location. You need the cooperative. Get off of me. You better go get off of me. Do not touch me, Hartwick. Get off of me. Hartwick, get off of me. Brenda, don't stop recording. No. See when I do something. Brenda, hey, you don't have to tell him nothing. Keep recording him, Brenda. All right, folks, and here are my final thoughts. First and foremost, we don't know if this guy was already outside when the cops pulled up, so let's not be too hard on the guy. I sure am glad to see that his wife was recording. We don't know what's going to happen with this guy. We don't know if the cops are going to go back and put out a warrant for his arrest and try to go back to his house and arrest him. So definitely go subscribe to his channel so that we can show this guy some support. What could this guy have done differently in this video? First and foremost, he could have easily went back inside, closed the door, and not say anything to the cop. This man had already asked this cop several times to get off his property. And then this cop kept turning around saying, don't walk up on me, don't walk up on me. Well, hey, if you're that scared to do your job, you should probably drop your badge and quit. Nobody wants to see a coward cop. The only people that want to see coward cops are other coward cops. You always hear cops talking about officer safety. You never hear cops talking about, oh, I can't wait to put my life on the line today to go help this next guy out or something like that. You never hear that, folks. Cops will always tell you things like, we just want to go home at the end of the day. Folks, we got to keep in mind that cops are not here to protect the people. There's case law like Castle Rock v. Gonzalez, DeShaney v. Winnebago. These case laws, Supreme Court case laws, will remind us that cops are not here to protect us. And let's not forget about what happened in Uvalde, Texas. Those coward cops, the same kind of coward cops that I'm talking about in a lot of videos that we see, they were hiding in the hallway. They weren't going in there to save their kids. Not only were they behaving like cowards, the only time that cops were behaving brave in Uvalde was when they were arresting parents or trying to stop the parents from going inside and saving their kids. What kind of bravery is that, folks? That's why it's important that we keep the Second Amendment intact, the First Amendment intact. Many of us don't know our rights. When we know our rights, we know that cops are not here to protect us. And when you know and understand this, you're not going to vote your rights away, folks. Cops are not heroes. Officer safety is a form of cowardice. Public safety, that's heroism, folks, but rarely are we seeing it these days. Absolutely do not talk to cops. They are not your friends. Stay inside. Make them show you a warrant. Without a warrant, absolutely do not open your doors. Don't give them the opportunity. With that being said, make sure you guys go subscribe to this guy's channel. Let him know that I sent you. I'm going to drop his links in the description and in the pinned comment. If you guys have videos that you want us to look at, copy your links and send them to recordpolicenow at gmail.com. Leave us as much information as possible. For instance, names and badge numbers of the department, what you're being charged with. If you're getting charged, we will do our best to highlight these videos and help your channels grow. Thank you all for tuning in to San Joaquin Valley Transparency. We'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.